Well, good day to you, and thank you so much for joining me. Here's Lady Vilma Collard. Let's jump straight into the Word of God and see what He's got for us today. Take up your position. I read this earlier in the week. It says, God's Word is my first defense and my greatest offense against the enemy. And that got me thinking, am I taking up my position? Defense means action, defending, and resisting an attack. We all know that every day we are under attack from some place, somewhere or another. The enemy uses all sorts of things to get to us. And then offense is an action of attack, a strategy. What weapon are we going to use? Um, it is an engaged thing. It's got an objective. How am I going to handle this attack. I'm going to plan it. And the Lord said to me, Vilma, you know, you're always asking, you're always at my feet, but when last have you stood firm and said to the enemy, get thee behind me? And when last did you rebuke Satan? And the scripture that he brought to mind was James 4, 7. So be subject to God, resist the devil. Stand firm against him and he will flee from you. And, you know, we were going through such a trial in that moment and realized, hold on a minute, what is it that I'm believing? To stand firm against the enemy means to stand firm on your beliefs. Do I really know my position in Christ? Am I really adhering to and following the kingdom's principles and practices? Am I really trusting with a firm belief in God's reliability and His ability to come through for me? Am I really relying and depending on God with a full confidence and a full confident trust that He will come through for me? What am I really believing in this situation? And the Lord showed me that in some places, you know, things come in and rob us of our joy because, yeah, oh, but he didn't, that didn't happen there and that didn't happen over there. So we become double-minded. Do you really believe in what God's promises are for you? Am I truly subjecting myself to God? Am I submissive to his word? Well, then I can stand in that standing. I can stand with full power that he gives me against Satan and his attack. He gave us that authority. The next thing he gave me was um, a defense and an offense strategy. Now, if his word is my first defense, it means Lord, what do you say in your word about the situation that I'm facing? And I want to take that word and I want to apply it. And I use that word to defend myself against the enemy and his attacks. And I resist his attacks. So the first thing he gave me was that to see, shoot, frag, and flank. It's a thing that guys use in the war, I suppose. And also I hear my husband use that often when he plays his first shooter games. And the Lord showed me that the sea is like to be, to have wisdom. Identify your enemy. Identify his works. Identify his lies. Identify what he's stealing from you. What is he killing in us? He's killing our faith by diluting it with, oh, but that didn't happen. You asked, but you didn't receive. So, you have to identify and then identify what weapon the word has given you against that. You know, I pray, we pray this every day. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory. It is the truth he will. Now the defense, the word that I can use is like, what does his word say about finances? And how do I apply myself to that? And what do I believe? It says, give and it will come back to you. Pressed down, shaken together and running over. Oh God, am I a giving person? Or am I a harvest keeper? Am I? What am I doing, Lord? The next thing is a shoot. To stop his work. That comes from a place 
of relationship with God, where you are in prayer with the Lord, where you are in the word of God, hearing from him, what is he saying so that you can resist that attack and you can speak God's word over it. And every time a thought pops up that you will grab that thought by its little throat, the Bible says, take every thought captive and make it submissive to the word of God and bow down. Man, every thought is like, I see myself grabbing it by its throat and saying, you have no place. This is not the truth and speak to it. And scientists have said that that is the way to take those thoughts as you speak to it. Speak the truth to that thought. Get guidance from God and he will direct you. And there's your defense as you apply the word of God to yourself. Then there's the frag. Well, that's the offense, attack and weapon strategy. You take the word of God. You rebuke Satan. You declare that word that God has spoken over you, over your life, and you declare it daily, and you rebuke Satan. And, you know, even though you rebuke him, he has to flee from you. That's what the word says. But it doesn't mean that tomorrow he's not going to come again with another lie. That's his job. That's what he thinks he needs to do every day. So we stand on the word and we're just on the offense. No, I don't believe that word. No, I'm not going to have that in my life. Then the flanking part. Man, that is the abiding abiding in the shelter of the Most High. Imagine you've got this umbrella over you. You are under that blessed assurance of God. You are watchful. You keep watch and look over your life for the lies where you are starting to believe things that are contrary to God's word. If his word says it, then it's settled. Believe the truth. Let God do his work in you and through you because he wants to grow you in your maturity as your faith grows. That tiny little faith seed, that mustard seed, God wants to grow it in you. As you abide in him, that's what he do. And then you stand firm, you hold fast, and you obey God's word. And so as we go into our daily lives, let us live a life where God's word is our first defense and our greatest offense against the enemy. Speak it, declare it, and most of all, rebuke Satan in Jesus' name by the authority that he gave you as a child of the living King. Father, I thank you that your word is our first defense and our greatest offense against the enemy. I thank you that wherever we find ourselves today, Father God, that we stand firm and we hold fast to the traditions and instructions that you have given us, Lord. I thank you, Father, that your will will be done in our lives, Lord, that from our lips will come forth your word, and, Father, that we will stand. Father, we will see the enemy, we will shoot, we will frag, and we will flank with wisdom, a relationship with you, Father God, where we are with you, Father, talking to you and hearing from you what the word is, and where we would declare, Father God, your word over our lives, and that we would rebuke Satan and his hand in our lives, over our lives. Father, we thank you that we can abide in your presence and we thank you that the authority that you've given us is present in our world. We, Father, we thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen.